moved here in 1998 and we were owned by an outside owner. I didn't know anyone around me except one person maybe. I went to and from work and never really got involved. We had potholes, we didn't have lighting that was proper. You never knew what your water was gonna be like. We had broken pipes, we were shut off with water quite often. And if you needed help, you were basically on your own at that time. And then in 2010, we got a letter stating it was going to be sold, and this came from the actual owner. And I thought, oh man, what am I gonna do? When I got the first letter, I sat for a couple days and was in tears because I had nowhere to go. You can't just pick up and move your house. That wasn't gonna happen. Shortly after that, we received a second letter from North Country Cooperative Foundation, which is a nonprofit group that helps communities become a cooperative. We went to a big meeting. North Country Cooperative Foundation puts up a big piece of paper that says, here's what the property is valued at, $4.1 million, and here's what we're gonna do to help you purchase it. And I thought, George is common folk. <laughs> where, where are we gonna come up with $4.1 million, right? We voted yes. We have been able to establish a community that is an actual community where people know each other, they're outside, they're playing, we're babysitting each other's kids, we're helping each other with food, we're giving rides, we have elders, we have young folks, we have single parents, and we have the inevitable wish of a storm shelter. And every year I begged and begged, please get us a storm shelter. In 2018, we broke ground and built a storm shelter and asked for it to also be a community center. I was able to watch the process of us starting from nothing and coming to something. All the benefactors that helped and everybody that came around and just joined in to build something safe for the community. And then once Library Without Borders came in, it was just a blessing in disguise. My family and I, and along with the rest of the community, have benefited with Libraries Without Borders coming into our space to help not only have a storm shelter, but also have a community center space and a library on site. You want to know what the magic is. The magic is the people, the people that live in the communities, a board of directors that gets put together, who now have to learn how to be a board of directors, right? We are a very diverse community and we welcome everybody. And I love to see all the cultures that we have in here. And we learn from each other when we come together here in this space. Here we're pretty close. You really want to know each other because you're going to need each other. My family and I have benefited from living in Park Plaza Cooperative and uh, with the help of Rock USA due to the fact that had we not had them behind us, we may have been sold, we could have been displaced completely, and the place would have been closed down. Seeing everybody coming together, nobody really talked to one another. Everybody was kind of apart, and that's been a huge change with the community, watching everybody slowly start to help one another and band together as a community. And we can go out and share our story and let people know it is possible. It, nothing's impossible unless you make it impossible. It's for my kids, my grandchildren, and my great-grandchildren. I'm, I'm just excited to see how it's going to grow and the future of it and where it's going to go. I mean, the possibilities are endless.